They are cunning and deceitful and controlling and it's always about them. Always. Hi everybody, this is Life with Leonard and welcome to another episode. Now on this channel I strive to motivate and inspire you to become the best version of yourself. And today's episode is really no different. Now I get asked a lot by including many of you guys is how do I deal with manipulative people in my life? Now I'm not a psychologist at all but what I'm going to share with you today is my experiences in dealing with difficult people and I'm going to share with you advice and tips on how you too would be able to successfully deal with them. Not so long ago I did an episode on the six types of people that you simply can't help and I'll leave a link to that episode in the description below or you can just click on the pop-up banner it'll take you to that episode and I would really advise you to watch it. It will also give you an overview and a perspective on also how and help you how to deal with manipulative people in your life. You know manipulative people they disguise and they are experts at it they disguise their interests as your interest. You know, these types of people manipulate you into believing their opinions are objective facts. And you need to be very, very careful around them. They use emotions as weapons. They get what they want in their relationships, no matter the cost. If it takes playing the victim or blame the other person, They'll do it without a batting of an eye. If they have to give the cold shoulder or tear down their partner's confidence, they'll do that too. It seems scary if you've never experienced it before. And it can get even scarier if you realize that you've been friends with an emotional manipulator without knowing it. They will make it seem as if their offer to help you is to improve your performance, improve your attitude and improve your life in general. The truth is, these people don't want to help you. They want to control you. They want to change you, not to better your life, but to validate their lives. And very importantly, to keep you from outgrowing them. Things they usually do, and they're very good at it, is they pretend to be by your side while working against you behind your back. Subliminally, when you're most vulnerable to serve their purpose. They are most dangerous when you are in close contact with them, like a husband or a wife or a co-worker or a boss or maybe a close friend or somebody in your church setup. And the best way for you to catch them and know that you are dealing with a manipulative person is by how you feel around them. You know, these are the types of people that only appreciate you when you do what they want. Number one is ignore everything they do and say. Now I know this one might sound much easier than it actually is but I want you to bear with me. Let me explain. You know when you deal with a manipulative person the biggest mistake that you can make is trying to correct them because by correcting them you just sink deeper into their trap. Manipulative people will use frustration and confusion to bait you into conflict. They want to get you emotional so they can see how you tick. Once they know the things that trigger you, they'll use them to influence your actions. A better strategy is to ignore them completely. Simply delete them from your life. But if you can't delete them right away, like they're a boss or a co-worker or a family member, agree with what they say and then go do your own thing anyway. You can never win fair and square around them, so don't try. You have to find a way to maneuver around them. Don't get absorbed by their drama. Never trust anything they say, no matter how sincere they try to look. I know it's not easy. I know. I acknowledge that. But you have to find the courage and the willpower to overcome that. It is for your own good. And that brings me to my second point, and that is trust your judgment. You know, dealing with manipulative people is, they, I mean, they are arguably the toughest personalities to deal with. But you need to constantly remind yourself that it's not your fault 
even if they convince you that it is. You know what's best for your life better than anyone else. Too many people go around asking for other people's opinions about everything. What should I do with my life? What am I good at? Who am I? Stop looking for other people to define you. Define yourself. Trust yourself. What separates winners from losers is not the ability to listen to other people's beliefs. It's the ability to listen to one's own beliefs. Your beliefs are your boundaries. By setting your own beliefs and holding on to them strongly, you prevent manipulative people from affecting your life. Here I speak of confidence, of believing in yourself. You know, I don't care who you are. We all have insecurities, including the person who is manipulating you. But you need to take control of your life. You need to stand up for yourself. You need to start believing in yourself. You can do it. I believe you can do it. Sometimes and very often the problem is and the challenge is to get you to believe that you can really do it. But before we get to the very last point, to number three, can I kindly remind you and ask you to please uh, subscribe to my channel, to like this video, to share it and leave your comments in the comments section below. It's easy to subscribe. You can just hit on that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of, of your screen. And please remember to hit the all notifications and that way you will be notified whenever I upload new contents. And number three, I want you to stop compromising. This is so important. And I am talking to you. Yes, you. Forget about everyone else. I want you to pay particular attention to this, to stop compromising. You know, guilt is a useless emotion, but it's a powerful tool. Think about that. Guilt is a useless emotion, but it's a powerful tool. And guilt is one of the weapons that manipulative people will use against you. They'll make you feel guilty for past failures and small mistakes. Or they'll make you feel guilty for being happy and confident. No one should ever feel too good about themselves. That's what they want you to believe. Another weapon manipulators will use against you is doubt. They'll work to install a sense of self-doubt within you. Doubt about your abilities and your worth. Manipulators gain power in this state of uncertainty. Their influence becomes stronger when you are uncertain. They have a better chance of getting you to compromise on your values, your goals and self when you are uncertain. The solution is simple. Stop feeling guilty. Stop doubting yourself. When it comes to your own career and life, you don't owe anyone anything. You deserve to feel good about yourself and to be proud of your accomplishments. Compromising on your happiness is not moral or enlightened. It's self-destruction. Let me end off with this thought. I want you to trust your gut feeling. Don't be naive. Don't assume all people are good at heart. Well, most are, but not this type. Don't assume that you can change them. Because even psychologists are struggling and they are the experts. Thank you so much, everybody, for once again joining me on today's episode. If this episode was of value to you, can I kindly ask you, if you haven't subscribed, to subscribe to my channel, to like this video, to share it, and leave your comments in the comments section below. It's easy to subscribe. Just hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And please ensure that you hit the all notifications and that way you will be notified whenever I upload new contents. Thank you so much and I will see you soon. Bye for now.